everyone. So you might know that the other day I had my first vaccine. So yesterday I had a full on day off because my arm hurts so bad and it still does hurt so bad. If I try and lean that way, oh my God, it hurts so bad. And I've been waking up screaming too because it hurts. I'll roll over onto it or something. And I'll scream like, ah, and I kind of wake myself up. And it just sucks. Yeah, it's still a bit achy. Um, I'm feeling a lot less like fatigued now. So I guess it kind of made me feel a bit tired. But I'm still in my PJs, so I'm not like, you know, I'm lazy. <laughs> anyway, um, I do have a Roller Girl Gang unboxing. So I'm not gonna be skating today. Didn't skate yesterday, not skating today. I just don't feel up to it yet. So I have already opened the box to avoid um doing that on camera because it can be annoying and the address is like right there. So the first thing I can see is this uh paper plate. Hmm. What is with the paper plate? Maybe for like when you change wheels or whatever, you can put your nuts and bolts on it. I don't know. Let's have a look. Next thing I can see, like obviously, is this water bottle. Because there's no one other thing in here that's in a bag. So. so here's the bottle. That's gonna be pretty useful. That'd be good. Uh, and then the last thing that I can see is this. So squishy. I'm wondering um, if it goes with the bowl. So let's open it. It's sweeties. They're squishy sweeties. Okay, these aren't the worst sweeties either because like, I'm a bit funny with squishy sweets. Like, I don't like the like fried eggs and stuff. Like I'm not a massive Harry Bow fan. Like the their like original lot. I love Dolly mixtures though. Oh, and it's my birthday month this month. Yay! My girls are gonna wanna eat all these suits. They got to share them with me. I want some of the cola bottles. I like cola bottles. Why do we get sweeties? I don't understand why we got sweeties. So we got sweeties and a water bottle. Plate stall. Okay, so let's have a look at the pages. My roller skating journey, new trick plate stall mm. welcome to your roller skate journey through 2021 and beyond each month you will receive a patch of pages blah blah blah, blah. you've heard all that before if you've seen these videos plate stall so here we are this is what it the requirement is for this month it says from beginners through to seasoned roller skaters we think it's always a good idea to start with solid basics and build a strong foundation this month we challenge you to learn a plate stall this is a stall where you pause on the coping with your feet side by side. You can learn and perform this trick with or without side slide blocks. The balance point will be slightly different with the, and without this equipment. So if you, let me read that again, that sounds so weird. You can learn and perform this trick with or without so, slide blocks. The balance point will be slightly different with and without this equipment. There we go. <laughs> so if you install them, during the month, be prepared to spend time relearning the balance point. I have already practiced stalls on curbs, like ages ago last year. And what I noticed when I did that is it scratches up my plate. So um, I don't know if this would be uh, one of the ones I'll get anytime soon, because I would like to get some grind blocks for a pair of skates at some point, but as I do not have a skate park in my area, it kind of seems like a lot of money for a bit of nothing. Like, why would I get grind blocks for jumping on my curbs? But I'm hoping there will be a skate park opening up soon. Or if not, hopefully we'll be able to drive soon. Because I do not drive. My husband can drive. But when he moved here from Australia, he had to, like, get his English license within a certain time. Like, cause he wouldn't have to do much if not. But he just didn't do it. So now he's got to do everything again. And he's obviously been out of practice for a good eight years now. So, yeah, if we can drive again, then we can go to skate parks. But for right now, I don't see if I'll, I don't see myself doing this particular month's challenge anytime soon. Or unless I go on like a skate date with someone, like in a different town maybe, but it still, it still requires a lot of travel, so. Mental health reminder. Everyone learns at different speeds and this month you may feel nowhere near ready to do a plate stall. You are under no pressure to do so. See, roller girl gang, they're on the same page as me, because like, I'm not even sure I'm ready to that. Oh, if I go to a skate park, I'm not gonna be doing stalls straight off the bat. I'm gonna be like, 
tiny little pumps. <laughs> that is it. And like dropping in, I've got to do, and like that's scary. Like, so I'm not, I'm not. Skate park seems super advanced to me. Beginner stall on a curb. <laughs> Things I've already talked about. Step onto the curb and maintain slightly bent knees. Keep your feet slightly wider than hip width. Hold your core tight and try to stay in this position for a few seconds before stepping back. You need to look at the curb where you will be stepping, then look high to maintain balance. So that's what I have done in the past. And like I say, it's scratched up my plate. So I don't really fancy doing that anymore. Intermediate stall on the coping. Roll up the trans roll up the transition and onto the coping. I'm not sure if that's correct. It sounds weird, but I don't do park skating. But it sounds like if to me it sounds like it should say roll up to the transition. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. This I'm gonna read it how it says. <laughs> roll up the transition and on the coping. You. Mm. You feet. <laughs> okay, that is definitely better to say your feet. I'm not reading this wrong. That is right. Like, they've written it wrong, but I'm going to say it right for this one because it's, it's too weird to say you feet will roll. Your feet will roll from a staggered stance to side by side. Practice rolling on and off the coping. Each time, push your hips forward to bring your center of gravity over the coping and hold your core tight. So yeah, that is this month's Roller Girl Gang Box. Of course, as normal, you have all your other pages here to track your progress for the month. So skill of the month, how do you feel, like your skate friends, skate maintenance, to-do list, things like that, and your notes. So that's what those pages are. If you are interested in seeing what they are, you can look back at any of my other Roller Girl Gang videos uh, for the unboxings of the, of the subscription box. Um, and you will see what these all have individually specifically i've gone through them a few times now and they're all the same so i'm not going to go through that again on this one to keep the video shorter basically so yeah these need to go in my binder um i will do that probably off camera today um and yeah that is everything i got some sweeties got a water bowl got a new trick to learn at some point in the future i, I want to try a bit of everything so it's something i will do I'm just, I've just got no access to it right now. But for now, I'm going to eat a cola bottle and I will see you soon. Bye!